Hey guys, welcome back to Adobe Live. Hi. <laughs> Shauna X here with us, and we are <laughs> just waking up. How about you guys? You guys awake? Got your coffee? We both have ours. We got our Michael Shez. Hi, Michael. Why are you so <laughs> grumpy? Because it's early? <laughs> um, say hi. Hello. Hi, Shauna. Hola. Are you transparent? I was transparent. It was kind of a cool. A little bit. Yeah, we did some wizardry. I was faded. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hi, Just a little bit. Goodbye. Oh, See you later. Man. <laughs> hey, from Dubai. That's awesome. Yeah. Wowza. It's so, nighttime. this is Adobe Live, and it's a weekly show on Behance. If you are not watching us on be.net slash live, head on over there. That's where you can chat with us, chat with all the other friends. You can check out people's Behance portfolios. Uh, you can also enter our contest. So, we are running a contest all week. It changes every single day and every single stream. Today's theme is activities on Utopia. So the whole kind of creative brief for the week can be found at be.net slash live um, on the contest tab. And you can find out that Utopia is this new planet that we are exploring. Yesterday it was traveling to Utopia. Today is activities on Utopia. And since Shauna is an amazing visual designer and illustrator. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> it's a fact. Um, oh my gosh. We're asking you guys to make an illustration using Illustrator CC about activities on Utopia. What does that mean to you? I don't know. What does it mean to you? Um, a lot of eating. Yeah, fruit farming, <laughs> I can see on your screen. A lot of playing around eating mm -hmm. and I don't even know, flying maybe? Why not? I feel like I already started that yesterday mm -hmm. with activities. True. So maybe I'll just continue that today. Yeah. Very cool. So you guys have about an hour and a half to get those contest entries in. Like I said, contest changes every single stream. We have four streams today with four amazing designers. So make sure you get the illustration contest entry in by 1030 Pacific time, hour and a half. And we'll yes. take a peek at them as they come in. Um, maybe give a little bit of feedback and clap for you guys because the work is incredible and really hard to decide a winner, but the winner does win a free year of Creative Cloud, which is amazing. I'm jealous. Oh, somebody, did you <laughs> watch Matt's or hear about Matt's I did it. I heard about it though. The, what is it? What is Infinite Kittens? <laughs> yeah, the Temple of Infinite Kittens, and these are just places on Utopia. And I really hope somebody illustrates the Temple of so Infinite So like, how is it also. infinite? Is it just gonna, is it just continuous? Like, do you go in and you're just in a continuous? It's just kittens Hole all the way cats. down. <laughs> yeah. What if you have allergies to cats? <laughs> it's not your utopia. Oh, okay. I, I, like, I think that sounds great. Yeah, me too. Like infinite fluff sounds awesome. Aww. Or it's like <laughs> paradox. Like, yeah. you, are, you are a cat. You're infinitely That's true. a cat now. That sounds That's good, true. too. Oh, it's so good to see you guys. We're so appreciative of you guys. Yeah, thank you guys coming for coming. Every day. Yeah, you get the hype train going even before the stream starts. Oh, yeah. Incredible. <laughs> So we have our coffee. We're good yes. to go. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna like go back on this campus. Oh, thanks. I love my hair too. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, it looks great. My hair is actually like crazy always. I dyed it for the first time, like bleached it, mm -hmm. the tips of it. So now it's just, I have to actually put product in it. And yeah. It just looks like a mess. It gives it a life of its All own. All the time. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Hmm. Gosh, yeah, after yesterday, I'm like trying to think what to draw today. If anyone has anything to recommend. Yeah. And I did not have my breakfast, so. Wait, do you want I it? feel like I'm going to just draw an empty stomach. Oh, no. And then my stomach's going to growl in the middle of the. I think mine is. Of too. this talk, and everyone's going to be like, oh, like, can draw you guys hear breakfast. it? I wonder. <laughs> Next time it happens, she'll really loudly. <laughs> I can hear it. <laughs> yeah, she. you hear it because it's like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Yeah. Helen's like, does Shauna have her breakfast? Nope. Yeah, this no, time. I should. I, I need to wake up earlier for it, so. Do you want like a granola bar? We can um, do this for you. We can conjure Oh my it. gosh. In <laughs> Utopia, you can have anything you mm -hmm. want. Get them um, donuts, Michael. I agree, Chuck. <laughs> I agree. Ooh, do you want a smoothie? Uh, Petting zoo. Do either of these sound good to you? Donuts. Ooh, I should get donuts. And ooh. You want one? Um. It's not really. I need food. to look at the ingredients. I'm sorry. That's I'm okay. so annoying like this. That's okay. 
Barley grass. Interesting. Okay. I'm the same way. I'm like, is there high fructose corn syrup in this? How does this have 51 grams of sugar in it? How's so that possible? much fruit. It's like natural sugar, but it's still. It's 20% of your daily carbohydrate in one bottle. Dang. Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. And this one's probably like more intense. Mm. 28%. Okay. <laughs> so no to either of these. <laughs> I'm good. Okay. Thank you. I'm trying you. to be watchful in what I eat, <laughs> ah, as everyone should be. True. But I don't do it enough. So nice. What kind of tenants do you live by? Um, I don't really live by any. <laughs> it's just <laughs> not. Bird. I guess you know, don't eat too much of every anything. Yeah, moderation. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Agreed. So I'm about that. Like bacon's great, donuts <laughs> are great. Just don't eat too much of it all the time. I don't Agreed. Think it's hard to like just completely, you know, be done with something. Like yeah. people who have, go on diets, I'm like, how do you do that? Right, and it creates kind of like a, you almost focus on it too much. Yeah. Like let it control you. Yeah, and then it, it's like backfires. Yeah. At least in my, in my experience, mm -hmm. it does. Oh, Martin says you can drink veggie smoothies for low sugar. Totally. True. Mm -hmm. And then throw in like one of the sugary veggies, like a carrot or something. But if you guys buy any of the smoothies prepackaged and you look at the ingredients, it's usually, you know, it's like vegetables, but there's always all these like sugar content in it. Yeah. It's like, where does it come from? Or like fruit concentrate. But I guess it, make, it, come, it comes from fruit, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, everything turns into sugar. Oh, I eat a lot, actually. I <laughs> eat more than anyone I know. She came in here smelling like Burmese yes. food today. <laughs> so. But that's why I have to like watch what I eat because I eat so much all the time. <laughs> it's true. Um, right. Speaking of food, I feel like I'm just gonna <laughs> draw more food. Uh, <laughs> okay, cool. That's an activity. Um, let me see. I'm gonna continue on. I'm gonna make this like a long horizontal drawing, I think. Oh, nice. It's gonna be interesting. Just add to this whole amazing scene. Yeah, this Rick and Morty scene, you know? Yes. Oh, I didn't watch it yesterday. I should Oh, you have. should. Oh, man. When I go um, home after these these days, the screen is like the last thing I want to look at. I just want to talk to my that's dog. That's so true. <laughs> that's so true. Uh, Sometimes, like, when you're, you know, working, you're just on the screen at all times. Totally. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. You guys in chat, do you stare at a screen all day? Like, does that is that what your job uh, entails? Do you like it? Do you wish you could change it up a little bit? How do you kind of mitigate? Mm. Cool. I feel <laughs> like, okay. I need to like think of, I want to draw a cat for sure. My friend's cat just passed away yesterday. Oh no. So I want to draw her cat, Charlotte, in space. Yeah. And I had to think about how, what cats look like. <laughs> Actually, Christine had the same thing yesterday. She had to draw a cat. She's like, what do they look like? Circle with two uh, pizzas on the top. No, is that two artboards? No, it's just the same artboard. I guess I could, you know, extend this artboard. Yeah. I didn't realize I'm, I'm such an OG illustrator right. person because I definitely, I kind of want to learn the pencil tool today. Oh, yeah, you yeah. could. And there's also, there's an artboard tool now. What is that? So it's, I'm pretty sure it's this one. I'm not sure. This the thing? Version. So you can oh just drag it. Oh my god. It. And you could like make new See? ones. Yeah. These are things <laughs> I don't even know about. Yay. It's That's new. pretty it's hilarious. Pretty like in the couple most recent updates. <laughs> okay, cool. Now I know. Oh no, Paolo. We keep you staring at a screen all day. Sorry. <laughs> at least this is also an audio. Medium. Yeah, you can hear my <laughs> terrible voice. You can hear you know, the clicks. You don't have to look at me at my work. <laughs> Just listen. Listen to listen it. Listen to me. my angelic voice. <laughs> I can never watch these things after because I'm like, oh my oh god, my I gosh. sound like such a fool. Yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. I, I hear my own voice on screen a lot. I'm yeah, like, that's true. I just pretend it's someone else. Like, oh, <laughs> hey, you have like, a nice voice. That's true. That's a good idea. <laughs> Oh, three screens for your PC, boring work, and two screens on your Mac for fun work? Dana, five screens? That's a lot of screens. You are a robot, I'm pretty sure. That's so many screens. Right? 
It's That's nice. nice. What do you put all the screens? Do you have like yeah. two tables for it? Right. She says she has a standing desk. That's pretty oh, nice. That's nice. Mm -hmm. All the desks here are standing desks. Except oh, for this we should one. be standing right now. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so nice. I've never had one. This is like a funny looking cat. Oh, I love him. I didn't know that's what you were drawing. <laughs> <laughs> but really cute. He's like leaping through space. Mm -hmm. As it should be. I should try the pencil tool. Where is the pencil tool? I'm only, I'm doing this on the trackpad though. Oh so I wonder yeah. If the pencil tool will be faster. Then you'll have to draw with your finger instead of like drop points. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> is that something you want to do? I will try it. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not, I don't know if it's gonna be good or not, but. <laughs> Let me see if I can find it for you. Oh no, that's perspective tools, the worst. Do, do, do. What's the assignment for today? Oh, so, so it's under the shaper tool. So it's oh. in the uh, shortcut is in. I knew that. I use that all N? the time. And yep. I mean, it's it's just like a brush tool, but oh, it's like you a brush tool. Um, are just drawing a stroke with. That's it, <laughs> with whatever stroke properties you have. I like I prefer my vector. <laughs> yeah, there you go. You prefer you prefer dropping your points. Maybe I can, of I, maybe them. I can practice this. I feel like if I have my tablet or something, mm, I think mm -hmm. that would be easier. But yeah. just because I'm so used to. Um, this navigate this you know curve yeah. and vector format but that's cool I should practice that for sure because I think that can create some interesting lines so yeah totally I think also using these different kind of tools like either dropping points or drawing if that's yeah. what you're used to can make shapes that like you would not usually make that's Your true hand wouldn't usually that's make. true <clears throat> oh you guys are wearing heels who's wearing heels that's so fancy what shoes are you wearing? I'm just Sneaks. wearing regular old shoes. I'm gonna go <laughs> hike after this. So. Where are you gonna go? Um, somewhere in the Redwoods. Oh, so like up north? Yeah. Thanks. I think so. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, I'm excited. I, I, mornings here are so beautiful. Aren't they? I think San Francisco is pretty awesome. It is. I agree, for a big city. It's a good one. Well, you live in a big city too, so you're used yeah, to it. Yeah, but I like how sleepy and calm it is here. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. You think this is sleepy and calm? Yes. <laughs> Compared to New York? Yeah, but I, I kind of like it. It just makes me feel more like relaxed overall. Wait, how does this look? Okay, I'm trying to think how this is gonna look like a cat because it doesn't look like a cat right now. So are those front little? Okay, those are the paws. Yeah. I thought wait, it was cats like- Cats are like- <laughs> Yeah. Leaping cats. Mm -hmm. um, I love how you just drew it without a head. You're like, oh, think about it. I know. That now I'm like, this looks so weird. Maybe the cat's head is floating off its body. <gasps> oh, is that too dark? No, I think that's. I, I think, think that's it's pretty cool. cool. <laughs> I just let's, let's do that. Represents a real cat. It's like a, a utopia. So cats don't have to have yeah their heads on their bodies. You know, Probably not infinite kittens, headless kittens. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Spice up your corporate attire with some Adobe socks. Nice. Actually, I'm wearing cat socks today. Really? Do you have a cat? I don't. I wish I did. My. Me too. My significant other is very allergic. Oh no. Mm -hmm. But we do have a pup, and he acts like a cat a lot. Like he'll curl up on you and like get real small. That's so cute. Mm hmm. He's a, he's a very good boy. The Aww. goodest boy. The goodest boy ever. Mm hmm. A sweet, sweet boy, as some might say. Sweet, sweet baby. <laughs> Show us your cat socks. I don't know if I can. They're kind of short. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. Just I'm wearing imagine. sushi socks. Are you so much fun? <laughs> Sockage. <laughs> Love it. I just want more sushi. Did you have it last night? No. Oh, I almost did from Whole Foods, but then it was like twenty dollars. No, thank you. Whole Foods. Thirty dollars. Twenty. Oh. But like for like a tiny little roll. Mm -mm. That's no good. No good. What am I doing with this cat? I like him. I don't think he should have eyes. Oh. No, he should. 
It's always funny when you're just like drawing, you're like, what am I doing? <laughs> Where am I? Is this my life? I'm sure a lot of people feel this way about when they're drawing too. They're just kind of like, what am I drawing? And why? why <laughs> like they forget this? what they're drawing? Yeah. <laughs> oh man, Daniel, I know that's Whole Foods for you. So tempting. <laughs> Ooh, socks are the new enamel pins. That's interesting, William. Oh man. Personality socks. Are you a flare kind of person? Do you like pins and like? I used to make this butt pin, <laughs> <laughs> and surprised. that got a lot of traction. Yeah. And <laughs> this is last year, and I made like two versions of it, and a lot of people had it. Cool. And it was modeled after my significant other's butt. <laughs> but nobody knew that. Everyone thought it was like a girl butt. I'm like, no, it's a guy butt. It's now my boyfriend's knows. butt. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh man. And I just, yeah, pins are muse. fun. Your butt muse. I loved butts, and then I feel like after I started getting quartered to become like the butt person, I'm mm -hmm. like, I am good. I'm not gonna draw no. I'm done with butts. <laughs> <laughs> so. That's awesome. <laughs> uh. Okay. Oh, Dana, cool. You have the Adobe app enamel pins. Okay, which ones do you have? Probably Photoshop and guessing, Illustrator, InDesign. Tell me, they were selling them at Max. Is that where, is that where you got them? That's too cheap. Didn't want did to you go to Max? Cash. Yep, I did. How was it? It was fun. I met Dana there. <laughs> oh, nice. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah. Where so, was it? It was in Las Vegas. Oh, cool. Wow, that's mm -hmm. kind of interesting. Yeah, so it's been in LA and San Diego and Las Vegas this year. Wow. Mm -hmm. It was interesting. Mark Ronson was there. Oh, he was cool. was DJing. Dropping the beats. No, I don't like these. Mm, little little kitten. What do cats look like? I think you got I it. I think I got a cat. <laughs> <laughs> what if it's a cyclops? What's the Sam hitting constantly? Oh, I think it's that guy. Okay. Oh, okay. So you got Illustrator, After Effects, Dreamweaver, Lightroom, and InDesign. That's Not awesome. Photoshop. Gotcha. Photoshop was sold out, or you just didn't want it? You let me know. Mm -mm. Cats are so cute. Agreed. Did I ask you if you have any cat, like pets? I wish I had pets, Aww. but I travel a lot, so it's kind of hard for me to like yeah. justify getting a cat. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I really want a cat though, or a dog. Yeah. But not a dog while I live in New York, because I feel like dogs need like space to totally roam and hang out, and I feel like New York's kind of a you know, not that place. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you're, you know, a millionaire, billionaire. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, people do it and they do it really well. Yeah. Wow, this looks hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> His head is so small. <laughs> Let's make that head a little bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Mitch, I didn't know you were gone. Where did you go? Did you go test some rockets in your bunker? Maybe <laughs> I'll put him in a, in a, a little bubble? Astronaut hat. Yeah. Oops. An astronaut hat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is that what that is? There um, you go. Oh, he's cute. so cute. He looks like he's wearing a cone on his head, yeah, though. Yeah, or he's like a lion. Oh, a okay, he lion. looks like a lion. <laughs> <laughs> Not a bad thing. Maybe I should change. Let me change the opacity so you can tell. It's, okay, there you go. It's cute. not a lion. I like him, her. Um, I'm going to have give him a little, little tiny neck. Hi. Cute. But every time I see like animals, I talk to them like they're babies. They are. Like hi. <laughs> they're the most precious beings. Moon lion. They are very, very precious. I agree, Adobe Live team. That is a moon lion. <laughs> All right, you guys. You working on your contest entries? Let's see if there are any. Yeah, submitted all yet. animals are babies. No, not yet. <laughs> they are babies. So if you are just checking in, we've been live for about 20 minutes, and we are here with Shauna X making a, a moon lion for her or Utopia. Cat. Or a cat. <laughs> uh, the theme this week is Utopia, an amazing fictional or not fictional planet. And today's theme is activities on Utopia. So we want you to create an illustration using Illustrator CC around the idea of activities on Utopia. What would you do there? Are there new activities? Is it like... Pogo sticking moonwalking is the new fad. 
Who knows? <clears throat> um, but if you want more information, go to be.net slash live and click on the contest tab. Do it. Yeah, here's the creative brief. It's on the tab that you can download, and those are the colors you need to use, the typeface. If you have Adobe um, subscription, you also have Typekit, so you can download that from Typekit. And then there's a little more information on the brief. So you have about an hour and 10 minutes until we're going to start looking at these illustrations. And make sure you get it in by then, because on the next stream, on Matt's stream, it'll be a totally new contest. And then Evan's will be different, Christine's will be different. So you have four different chances to win a Creative Cloud subscription today, and then four more tomorrow. Uh, but you got to get those contest entries in. I'm so excited to see them. Tasty, tasty illustrations. Tasty, tasty. Mm -mm -mm. And as soon as we get a couple in, we'll take a peek at them. I know you guys are fast. Impress us. Press yeah, they're on. really fast. It's crazy. Right? I'm like, how do you guys do this? <laughs> Noel, yes. Or Noel. Will you tell me if it's Noel or Noel? I, I just want to say it right. I just want to commit to one of the versions. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it, everyone. You can't afford not to enter. Oh my god, he's so cute. Yes, I like his red belly. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a woodpecker. Uh, um, should I give him a little pot, a little shoes? Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Shaz says, wow, I love this cat. Thanks, Michael. Mm -hmm. Wait, that's like the weirdest looking shoe it's ever. It's like a hoof. <laughs> Is he wearing cowboy boots? <laughs> Um, let me see if I can give him a little tiny boot. Wait. Oh. Okay. <laughs> you take all versions of Noel, but this time of year I go for the Noel version, like Santa. Okay. Noel nice. it is. It's a nice name. That's a nice name. Mm -hmm. That looks like a terrible looking boot. Maybe I won't give him a boot. Hmm. What if he has a cast on? One paw. He has a cast. He's like, I don't need my legs. I'm flying. Aww. <laughs> that's actually really cute and sad at the same time. Aww. So that's the best combination. Cute and sad. This makes me want to watch cat videos. Yes. Agreed. Does this look like? Does this look like a cast? <laughs> it looks like a like a wrist laser. Pew, Ooh, pew. he should have a wrist laser. I He's like that a idea. A nice cat. <laughs> I like that idea a lot. Cat. Okay. Please force. Wait, this looks like, yeah. Maybe I'm changing this color a little bit. Oh, nice. That kind of looks like the rising sun. I know, it looks like the Japanese flag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hmm. He comes from Japan. <laughs> Japanese cat. <laughs> uh, somebody just said hello. Oh, what's up, Morgan? Welcome to the stream. Jason, what's up? Yeah, people are saying Japan, Japan, Japan. Japan. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It's so nice to see you guys. Thanks for hanging out. Are you new to the stream? Anybody? Anybody new? Want to say hello? We'd love to chat with you. Also, totally okay to just lurk and watch, but um, the interaction of these segments is really what makes it fun. Yeah, tell me something about yourself. <laughs> tell me some things. Well, I draw mindlessly a weird cat that isn't. I'm not a fan of this weird bracelet thing. Mm. <laughs> um, Jamal, hello. Umar, what's up? Vicky from India, hello. <laughs> Daniel is lurking, all caps. Oh, Umar, you're new. Thank you so much for being here. Rahul is here. Chat so you can win those posters. You got it, Joseph. So. In about 30 minutes, we will be doing a giveaway, and the key to winning the giveaway is being active in chat. I will give you that little tidbit of information. So these three posters that you see above us, on the left we've got Robzilla, who was in chat yesterday. I don't know if he's here today, but he's an amazing, uh, mostly mobile illustrator, uses the iPad Pro, and all of these uh, pieces were made on stream, so he was here when he made it. And then the middle is um, Jingwei, the pool party, she made that while she was here. And then all the way on the right is Christine Heron's travel tags. So she'll be streaming at 3 p.m. Pacific time. So come back for that. Um, so for that poster, she asked people in chat where they were from and she made little travel tickets for them. So at 9.30, five minutes, we'll be giving away all three 
of these posters. How big oh. are they? I don't I don't know the actual dimensions. Mm. Like A A4, is that what that's called? Like 14 by something. That's cool. Yeah, so they're a nice size and they're printed very nicely. Um, you can give them away as holiday gifts. You can keep them for yourself, put them under your pillow. Um, do whatever you want, but they'll be yours. That's in five they minutes. They will be yours. Mm -hmm. Robzilla, yes. Oh, Vicky, you won the poster. Yeah, yesterday, I remember. Greeting from Peru. Hello from Hi. San Francisco. Oh, Chelsea, you're in California too. Oh, you s <laughs> Okay. Maybe, okay, this cat can be... Oh my gosh. <laughs> Maybe, okay, he's gonna conjure up. I know what he's conjuring up. <gasps> Some sort of food? He's gonna conjure up fish. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Love it. This is the stupidest thing ever. <laughs> okay. It's <clears throat> accurate. Daniel mm. is from Virginia. Very cool. Brazil. Seattle. Another Brazil. Yeah. Um, Majdi. No Wacom. So she's using the trackpad only. You yeah. use the tablet sometimes. Sometimes. Are you used to more? I'm so used to this trackpad. That's mm -hmm. just my life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I think a lot of um, people do that just because it's it's just more easy for vector work, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Yeah. Um, like if I ever used a, the Wacom, it would be for Photoshop or something yeah. that's like more hands-on. Yeah. Or that you might need like pressure sensitivity for. Exactly. Yeah. And oh. I, Sorry, go ahead. I was just gonna say, Robzilla is here. We conjured him. Hi, like Rob. The juice. <laughs> What's up, Rob? Hey, yo. Philadelphia. That's where he's from. Nice. How is it today in Philly? <laughs> it's very zilly. It's zilly. Chilly zilly. Oh, sh that's not good. <laughs> it probably is pretty cold, though, right? Like I hate New when York. it's cold. Why do you live in New York? I don't know. Oh, no. Why do I live in New York? I need to get out. <laughs> <laughs> Let's ask these important questions. Seriously. Oh, man. <clears throat> oh, you do use a Wacom with Illustrator, Daniel. Nice. I use a mouse. So it's similar to the trackpad. I'm just clicking, Ooh. but... <clears throat> oh, Majdi says, if you don't use a tablet, you might hurt your hands. Do you ever have any, like, wrist pain? Um, yes. Yeah, <laughs> I know that is kind of uh, stressful. Okay. Everybody stretch. Idea. You know what? Like, I, I've been working out a lot and nice. like I take CrossFit and oh. every time I, they have like wrist exercises, it hurts so bad. Oh. I should probably be better to my body, honestly. Seems like you're being pretty good with your healthy eating, your CrossFit. Yeah, I'm trying. Your Burmese food. It's life. Yeah, you only get one. You only have YOLO. <laughs> Until kidding. you move to Utopia. And then you can just do whatever you want. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have fish bones. Oh, is he see-through? See-through fish. Yes. <clears throat> what do you, why are you guys talking about rats? I missed something. <laughs> I should get a rat. Rats are the new mice. <laughs> oh, for the, <laughs> for the cat. Oh, I see. That's a good idea. I should have done that instead. <laughs> whatever. Guys, we have two more minutes until the giveaway. Make sure you're here, you're chatting in chat, and then at 9.30, you better get that hype going or else no giveaway. Sorry. <laughs> no giveaway. Unless they're very hype. How do you be, be hype? That's how they be hype. They, they say just say hype? hype. Yes. <laughs> wow. Why are you doing this? I'm working really slow today. I'm so sorry. It's all right. It's all right, right, guys? Uh, you okay with it? Just too early for <laughs> me to be fast about anything. <laughs> you know? That's okay, though. That's one of your goals, right? That's to kind of so slow true. down. Very, very true. Yay, everybody's getting hyped. Oh, Rob's bossing you around telling you what shortcuts to use. What is What shortcut should I be using? <laughs> Duplicate. Command D. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. All right, you guys, 9.30. Let's get the chat going. 
So all you have to do is be active in chat to win these three amazing illustrations. The one on the left was created by your favorite, Robzilla, right there on the iPad Pro, right? Rob, let us know. Uh, the one in the middle is Jingwei's pool party, and all the way on the right is Christine Heron's travel tags. So all you have to do is get active in the chat. Uh, let us know if you're working on the contest or not. Just say hello if you haven't said hello yet, because that's how you enter. And then we'll work a little bit of Adobe Magic and get a winner chosen. Yes, Chelsea, I love them all too. And you can love all of them because you get all of them. You don't have to pick one. Ooh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, the iPad 3. Okay, so that wasn't even iPad Pro. Nice. But it looks like you probably used Illustrator Draw, the mobile app, one of the good ones. Yeah, Chelsea, I hope you win. I hope you guys all win. Yeah, everyone should win. I hope the, the bot screws up and everyone wins. That'd be great. <laughs> Yay! What's up, Adolfo? Greetings from Spain. Winner, winner, chicken spinner. <laughs> Can we have a lot of winners? Can I don't know. We? We'll see. But if you do not win this time, don't you worry. You have three more chances to win today and then four tomorrow. <laughs> The teleprompter is saying weird things to yeah, us. Yeah, I know. I'm like, <laughs> what does this mean? <laughs> Using the same stream. Oh. <laughs> it stopped. There was a ghost in the machine. It was <laughs> talking to us. <laughs> <laughs> kind of creepy. All right. Adobe Live team, who's the winner? <laughs> Jimmy's like, nobody likes you, The winner. <laughs> Oh, right. We have a winner. Oh, it just disappeared. Uh. <laughs> oh, now it's there again. <laughs> All right, Shauna, who is the winner? David Laferrere. <laughs> David, you're a winner. Sorry I'm really about that. bad with names. I'm sorry. <laughs> Laferriere, potentially. Congratulations, David. <laughs> you have won the three posters. <coughs> Oh, I just choked on my spit. The three oh. posters that were created live on stream by Robzilla, Jingwei, and go. Christine Heron. Make sure to check your Behance uh, messages because Adobe Live team will be getting in touch with you very shortly. Thanks so much for all the hype, guys. Stay in chat. Stay active. Good job. Yes, we love chatting with you, and you have three more chances to win today. Just stick around for all the different streams. Yay, congrats. Yay. Woo. I love doing that giveaway because... It's like you don't have to pick anyone. It's That's just random. True. It is really random. There's no pressure. Or is it random, <clears throat> guys? Adobe Live team. Um, I'm going to change this artboard because I kind of like vertical better now. <laughs> Looking at those oh. posters, I'm inspired. <gasps> cool. I just got inspired. <clears throat> um, Ooh, Kendra wants to know what your favorite food is. Oh, my gosh. I love all food. I mean, I it. feel like my favorite cuisine is probably... Vietnamese and Japanese because mm. I can eat that every day for the rest of my life. Yes. Um, I don't really know if I have a favorite food. It's really hard. I like noodles a lot. I, don't know. I like noodles and um, just like salty things. Mm. <laughs> I'm not, I don't have a sweet tooth actually. Really? Yeah, I know. Wow. It's kind of crazy. I'm like all sweet tooth. Yeah. Really? <laughs> mm hmm. I, I think sweet tooth is, I wish I had sweet tooth. No, I don't. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely don't. Yeah, I have. Uh, I have pretty. Yeah, I love like a good bowl of soup. Soup is like my favorite oh, thing ever. Interesting. Do you yeah. like it just broth, or do you like when there's things in it? I love. I love everything. Every soup. Any type of soup. All I love. the soups. All the hot water. Yeah. Drinks. And all foods. the hot water. <laughs> exactly. Yay! Oh, somebody's asking how do you select colors, Saeed? If you're asking about. This specific color palette, it was chosen for Shauna. So you can grab it too if you go to be.net slash live slash, um, nope, slash live, just go there and then click on the contest tab. There is a link there to the creative brief and all the colors and even the color codes are in there. And you know what's hilarious? What? Was I found out Michael chose it from one of my drawings. 
Because I was complaining about it, and he's like, "Actually, I chose it for more of your <laughs> art." And I was like, "Oh, okay." Uh, that's funny. He's I guess in I chat. hate my own work. He's like, "Nice <laughs> color theme, Shauna." <laughs> yeah, it's my favorite color palette for sure. Thank you. Uh, that's so funny. <laughs> that nice. is really funny. Uh, you guys have about an hour. 55 minutes technically to get your contest submissions in so go get that creative brief in the contest tab check it out and then make an illustration using illustrator cc about the theme of the day which is activities on utopia so what do you do on this new planet you can do anything there's there's no rules gravity is different physics is different physics are different (laughs) so true yeah and all of the different designers for today, we got Matt D. Smith and Evan Abrams and Christine Heron. They'll all be creating illustrations and uh, app prototypes and motion graphics around this kind of utopian theme. So stick around for that also. We've got an hour left. We've already have one submission. Oh my gosh. I know, very fast. Wow, you guys are really crazy. <laughs> <laughs> How do you do it? What do you do? <laughs> what do you do? Yeah, what do you guys do? How do you guys go so fast? <laughs> Gotta go fast. Like, what is going on in your heads that makes you so fast? <laughs> okay. I feel like this is like a valley. Oh, wow. Could be. That cat. I love how there's now like two main characters. The guy and like the there cat. there should be more main characters. Yeah. Let's nice. make it happen. What's up, Jan Eric? How you doing? Oh, Jean Viev, you said that you use a tablet on Illustrator, but Shauna inspired you to get batteries for your mouse. It's 10 times faster. Nice. Very cool. I'll inspire you to not even use a mouse and just <gasps> use straight up a <laughs> Just <laughs> tap that trackpad. So do you actually <laughs> click your trackpad or do you just tap it? Um, I tap. Yeah. Actually, I click. Oh. It's <laughs> so funny. It's like a really funny question. Yeah. Do I clap? Do I click or <laughs> tap? <laughs> Do I click or I clack star. or clap? <laughs> I don't really like the star shape. You gotta foots it up a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna just draw it. There you go. Yeah, Chad, are you clickers or tappers? Or mousers? This is the funniest <laughs> question ever. Kendra's a clicker. Thomas is a tapper. Paolo is a tapper. <laughs> That should be a shirt Oh uh, yes. for all the Illustrator people, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. The Adobe um, headquarters in San Jose has, like, a store, and they have T-shirts there. Really? And it has, like, the funniest, like, nerdy Adobe quotes on it. What are, I feel what like that the, would be one of them. Really? Like, one of them is, like, I see gradients where others see sunsets. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's so, so nerdy. so stupid. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, and for there's like baby onesies that say, um, like, I look like mom and good thing there's Photoshop for dad or something like that. What? That's <laughs> it's hilarious. savage. Munir, did I get your ticket to Utopia? I, I didn't. You can send it to me on Behance on my account if you'd like to. I saw that you, you said that. To get to Utopia? Yeah. You said you made one for me. Oh, cool. Yesterday. How about me? (laughs) Yeah. Come on, guys. Don't leave me out of this. Well, yesterday during um, Christine's stream, she was making tickets to Utopia. So everybody who sent in one of them, Mm. it always said, like, Christine's name. And I was like, what about me? Do I not get to go? How about me? (laughs) Come on. Come on, guys. Uh, Niraj, welcome. Okay, I forgot I have this thing going on. Oh yeah, don't forget all these like guy. elements that I like don't remember I did. Nice. Hey Yuri, how you doing? Welcome back. I remember you from the previous streams. Munir is a clicker for sure. I love this composition so far. <laughs> I'm like, what am I doing? Okay. Oh, cool, Munir. I will look at it. What is it? His ticket for me. Oh, cool. Oh, nice. Mrs. Kathleen Illustrated. Oh, 
Depart 8.30 p.m. 24B, though. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Let me first class. That's really far. <laughs> <laughs> Terminal 7, gate 1. This is awesome, Munir. Space Airlines ticket, <laughs> Utopia Planet. I am going to appreciate it. Boom. Thumbs, thumbs it up. Thumbs it up. Okay. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Michael says, Shauna's too fast for Adobe Live. She's done and can go home now. Yeah, I'm done. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs> done. <laughs> Watch me, like, wipe off all the laptops on the table. <laughs> Flip. Just get really mad for no reason. <laughs> Sounds just like you. <laughs> Very accurate. Oh, Siantan, welcome. Thanks for being here. <clears throat> Oh, Helen says, I love your surfboard art. Oh, thank you. Yeah. That took forever. What was that for? A hotel? It was for the W. Nice. It was fun. But it it took off my entire living room for probably a month. Wow. I had to, like, move. I mean, I don't have a studio yet just because I don't do a lot of um, large-scale projects mm -hmm. at home. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to keep all these 10 surfboards in my living oh, room. Gosh. <laughs> and I got paint everywhere. It was kind of bad. Oh. <laughs> so I have like paint on the walls. I need to paint over when I go home and like um yeah, it's pretty messy. Oh man. So what was the brief like that they gave you? Um was so it was for Florida ideas. Yeah, so just something that um resonated with Florida relaxation and mm. um you know, overall chill by the beach. Yeah. And it was going to be at the reception desk or like I think in the reception area. So it's pretty big. Nice. Yeah. If we can pop over to my screen, we can take a peek at it. People yeah. are wondering. Thank you. Thank you so mm. much. There's a little tiny Shauna. Oh my God, it's me. <laughs> There's paint on her walls. Just Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it just took so long. I like a booty. And on top of it, these... Sar these boards are styrofoam, so it's like oh. polyurethane, and it was so difficult to paint because anytime I painted anything, the colors would soak yes. through differently. Right. Yeah, it was pretty intense. Wow. But it was pretty awesome. So, how time. did you um, achieve kind of a flat look? Did you just keep going over things? Yeah. Until it was saturated? Yeah. It just took so long. Nice. I wonder yeah. if it would have looked interesting if it were like kind of patchy. Probably not. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think they're gonna gloss over it. So oh. after they gloss over it, mm -hmm. um, it'll look pretty awesome. Nice. Because right now it's not even glossed over. Yeah. So you can kind of tell. You can see kind of the blotchiness on there. But right. when it's glassed, I think it'll just make it a lot shinier. Definitely. And um, it took me a really long <laughs> time. Probably like a month. Wow. Well, actually, that's not true. Um, I actually had help as well, so that really helped. Mm -hmm. So it probably took a collective two weeks. Nice. Did you design it on the computer first? Yeah, so I, I do everything. I know it's opposite. Like a lot of people like to draw things on paper and then transfer on the computer. Mm -hmm. I like to draw things on the computer and then transfer on the paper. <gasps> hmm. And so for me, like the easiest place is to go straight to the laptop Yeah. on my trackpad. Nice. Did you actually set out artboards that look like skate, not skateboards, sort of, boards? sort of. Yeah. And then like I just kind of had an idea what to do, and then for the boards itself, I just freehanded it. Wow. I was just like, okay, that's what it's gonna look like. Mm -hmm. I'll just do that. So nice. Thank you. Thank that's you so Shana. much. Mm -hmm. Really appreciate. It. I was this was like one of my favorite projects to date. Nice. So well, it turned out very well. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I love large scale stuff. It's really challenging, but like really great at the same time. Yeah, I don't think I've ever really done anything. I mean, large scale. You should. I should. Do you have space for it no. in your apartment? No. <laughs> I mean, maybe. I could yeah. make it. You can paint. Like, I think I started doing this because I lived in an apartment where, like, um, my apartment last year, I was able to paint on the walls. So, oh. uh, my partner and I just like painted. Well, we were really inspired by Bridget Riley. Mm -hmm. She's like um, an artist from like the 70s, 80s. She's just done crazy awesome work that's like really interesting. If you want to go into your screen. Yeah, can we pop over to mine? Whoa. Just like a lot of patterns, colored, you know, mixes. Mm -hmm. and I just love the way she uses um, like a very design 
style for her paintings. So I kind of channeled that into mm -hmm. uh, my own apartment mural. Hey, do you have <laughs> any pictures of it? Uh, maybe. It might be on my Instagram. Let me see if I can find it on my computer. Or I can look for it and you can keep working. Okay, sure. Let's see. It's like probably way back, like back into time, Instagram. Cool. Like two years ago. Timeline scrolling. It was definitely inspired by her. Let's scroll forever. Yeah. It's like. If you guys want to follow Shauna. Yeah, follow Instagram. me on Insta. Instagram.com slash Shauna X one word. Yeah. That looks like it. No. No? <laughs> Go back. Like way back. Oh, back. Back, 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 back. back. Oh, it's so slow. I have so <laughs> many pictures. Not a bad thing. Oh my gosh. Back, 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 back. Oh, this is last year for the Adobe. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I did that last year. Sacrificial booty I was like booty really altar. obsessed with butts and gradients. <laughs> so. Nice. Um, back, back, back. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Back, Wait, back, right? back, 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 back. Oh, right there. Nice. Yes, right there. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. So we just like measured, we had like strings and we just like measured it from, we taped the strings on top mm -hmm. and then you can just kind of trace the lines and whatnot mm -hmm. and then just paint it, paint whatever color and tape it, mask it. Yeah. It was so fun. I think everyone should just try with, you know, play with, you know, doing these physical projects whenever you can. Definitely. Because it you really helps your own work, I think. Yeah. It helps my work at least. Very cool. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Can you guys paint your walls in your apartments or houses? I mean, I'm sure everyone can can do it. You just have to paint over white, yeah, yeah. which is totally doable too. Mm -hmm. Doable. <laughs> when we moved into our house, when we lived in Ohio, there was like Dragon Ball Z characters drawn That's on the awesome. wall <laughs> with Sharpie, and we almost didn't want to paint over it. We oh my like, gosh, this is kind of amazing. <laughs> Martin says that Insta was loud. Yeah, I know. Sorry, <laughs> a lot going on. Or am I sorry? <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> okay. All right, gotta get serious about this. Okay. I remember I had clouds in here. Oh yeah. I'm gonna bring this cloud back. I'm not a fan of these dot things. Okay. Oh. Oh, Chuck, I'm from Columbus. Are you from Ohio? Let me know. OH. <laughs> Let me know. Where are you from originally? I'm from Portland, Oregon. Oh, did who's, I know that? Who's from Portland here? Nobody. <laughs> Crickets. <laughs> Jamie's from Indiana. Neighbors. Who's in Pacific Northwest? Because I think it's like the same thing, basically. <laughs> I've never been up there. Really? Yeah, I don't have an excuse anymore. I love Portland. I go back like three times a year. Nice. Yeah, it's great. Is a lot of your family still there? Mm-hmm. Very cool. Seattle's great too. Oh, nice. We ju we just get each other, you know. <laughs> yes, Ryan. Just from all Washington. that rain. Totally get it. <laughs> Natasha, the only Canadian here. Well, uh, Evan's Canadian, so stick around, Natasha, for our third streamer. Ocala, what's that? Ocala, Florida. Ooh, I've <laughs> only been to Pensacola, Florida. Only. In Miami. Oh, <laughs> I love Florida. Florida's Florida. very interesting. Oh, Dana's in Central Washington. Yay, Pacific Northwest. Yeah, I am excited to go back for the holidays. For New Year's, I'm probably, we're renting like a cabin and just chilling. And Amazing. By the beach, like not doing anything crazy. Mm -hmm. Is that going to be a cold beach? It's going to be a cold beach. Yeah. But it's going to be a great cold beach. It's going to be a great beach. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, Zaville is from Lithuania but lives in Spain. Very cool. Nice. I've never been to Spain. Me neither. Or Lithuania. Have you? No. <laughs> hey, yeah, say in Tan, you can definitely watch the previous live sessions if you go to the uh, Creative Cloud YouTube channel. You can watch every single live session to date. So you can already watch the ones that were yesterday, and you can also go way back and watch ones from weeks ago, months ago. I hate the star. Okay. Aww. He didn't do anything wrong. 
Oh, Julie's from Canada. I almost said Canada. Canada? Canada. <laughs> Canada is such a great country. Right? I've been, I went to Montreal recently. I just loved it so much. I agree. This place. <sighs> I wish we're all from Canada. <laughs> <laughs> Can't all be from Canada. Can't all be the nicest people. Can Canadians are just so great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Yuri, I remember you're from Japan and um, you just got an internship, right? Have you started or you're starting after the holidays? Let me know. Woohoo, go Canada! I love Japan too. Have you been? I went like a long time ago, 2014. Nice. It was great. I, that's our goal. Someday. You're going back to Japan. Or Never been. been. Yeah. Girl, you gotta go. I know. That's our honeymoon goal, but it's been oh, two really? years. So <laughs> <laughs> we need to get on that yeah, quick. You do. <laughs> Toronto in the house. Nice. I saw the Lion King in Toronto. It was great. Nice. I've never been to Toronto. I heard really great things about the artist community there. Oh, nice. Okay, so you started, Yuri. That's awesome. How's it going? Anybody else an intern uh, currently or working in the graphic field, not graphic, creative field in general? Let us know. Oh, Natasha's from Toronto. Very nice. cool. Toronto. Is that Toronto. how you say it? Toronto. I thought it was Toronto, no? You tell us. My old boss is from Tor Toronto. Toronto? I forget how she said it. What's up, Alexander? Who Anne is from the Ukraine. Zavil is a freelancer. Helen is a poor, unrecognized artist. <laughs> You're not unrecognized by us, Helen. We all start there one day, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm still there. It's all right. There we go. <laughs> Just takes time. Posey and Tan is a student of communication design in your nice. second year. <laughs> Where at? Oh, okay, so it is Toronto. Oh, am I saying it wrong this whole time? Or maybe it's not. Maybe she's just making fun of me. <laughs> uh, Alexander is a student in a graphic design field. Cool. Oh, Plus Designs, you just got an email for an internship yesterday? Nice. Congratulations to you. That's amazing. <laughs> Julie says you called Toronto. Toronto. Toronto? Let's go to Toronto. Oh, Yuri. So it's a basic in house sustainability consultancy. So lots of basic presentation work. It's cool. a great place to start. Hey, sustainability is amazing. So congrats on just being in an awesome field. Hopefully you like it. Mm hmm. Diego did an internship many years ago. Awesome. I found my first internship on the Behance job site. I don't know Boy, if you guys really? know about it. That's yeah. awesome. You should be able to see it right now if you're watching us on be.net slash live. But there is a tab on the top next to create a project that says jobs. And it's all creative positions, so you don't really have to filter through that way. Um, a lot of recent postings for all kinds of stuff. Illustration, a lot of UX and UI. Yeah. Graphic design. I'm pretty sure I used it when I was when I graduated, too. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah, thank you, Adobe Live Team. So only 40 minutes left oh my God, to, really? uh, to, for them to submit their stuff. Okay. You have a like, little more time. I don't even know what I'm doing right now. <laughs> no, it looks great. It's totally different than it was. I no, know. it's vertical. But <laughs> sorry, Adobe Wizard. I started talking about the contest and then stopped. So the theme for today is activities on Utopia. Um, Utopia is this magical planet that's going to be unveiled to the public in 2018. And what kind of things will you do on this planet? It's up to you to decide. So all you have to do is make an illustration using Illustrator CC based around the idea of activities on Utopia. We have a color palette that you need to use. And if you're going to be doing any uh, copy or typesetting, there's a typeface that you can use. And you can find that all within the contest tab that's on be.net slash live and click on the contest tab. So you get about 35 minutes. Go, go, go. We have a couple entries. We'll wait for a couple more and then we can we can check them out. Cool. Let's see it. Mm -hmm. Oh, Yuri, you get to do a lot of infographics. That's actually something that I'm kind of interested in getting into. It's really fun. Yeah? Do you mm -hmm. have any experience? A long time ago, yeah. Yeah? Visualizing um, data is always really fun, yeah, I think. Yeah, definitely. I'd like to do it in like a kind of 
like fun, whimsical way. I don't know if many people are looking for that. Maybe they're more looking for like clean graphic design infographics. Yeah. I'll make my own niche. Yeah, you should. <laughs> it's now the time to make your own niche. Why not? That's all you can do, I feel like, because trends are so, you know, inundated. Yeah. Everybody's trying to get their paws on it. Literally. Yes, Adobe Live Team, there is a prize to the contest. Uh, it's a year of Creative Cloud, so that's incredible. And if you already have a subscription, don't worry, it'll stack on top of that. So if you have already a year left, now you'll have two years. Nice. Mm -hmm. Let me get in on that, Adobe. Come on, <laughs> man. <laughs> John Viev is working on an infographic GIF right now. You know, we were just talking earlier about if it's GIF or GIF. I think you should just say whatever you want just to say. Just call it a graphics <laughs> interface it is the format it or matter. whatever. <laughs> right? Nobody actually talks anymore. You just read, so it doesn't matter. That's so true. You just type. It's kind of crazy, right? Is it graphics interface? Graphics interaction? I think it's interface. Google? Pretty sure it's interface. Help Google. <laughs> What? No, I'm just trying to find exactly what it is. <laughs> GIF acronym graphics interchange. Interchange? Mm -hmm. Whoa, we're both wrong. Yeah, we're close. Enter something. <laughs> oh, awesome, Laura. Let me check and make sure that we got it. Yep, got it. Don't you worry. Okay. Oh, so people are saying GIF, but also people are saying not GIF, more like GIF, oh. to each their own. Toronto, Toronto, you know? <laughs> so true. Uh, oh my gosh, it's 12.55 a.m. in Indonesia? Go to bed if you want to. It's <laughs> only about 10 a.m. here. It's very early in the morning. <laughs> I don't go, I haven't gone to bed before, like, two o'clock in the past month. It's Goodness gracious. So yesterday you said you hadn't gotten up before 11 and today yeah, you're saying. Yeah, now you know why. Yes, it makes sense now. That's like a good amount of sleep. Because I need sleep and I go to bed very late. Mm. Is that for a reason? Like you just get busy just, doing stuff or? Or I just, I don't know. It's back and forth. Sometimes I'm like, I'm just not tired. Yeah. Um, but I should probably go to bed earlier. I just don't do it. <laughs> Maybe after this week. Well, you're traveling a ton, so you'll probably so, be exhausted. Yeah. That's so true. Mm -hmm. Okay. I feel like this has come together so much, even just with like the addition of that little gradient on the laser. I know. I, I'm trying not to use gradients. <laughs> Can you tell? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Christine was talking about that yesterday, too, how she's trying to step away from the thing that like was her pigeonhole. God. It's like hand lettering for her. She's like, I don't want to do any hand lettering right exactly. now. Exactly. That's what people know. That was me like for. definitely my pigeonhole until like everyone's work started to look like mine. I was like, screw this. <laughs> <laughs> now that it's a bad thing, it's fine. Yeah. It's totally okay. But you got to evolve. Mm -hmm. like, I don't think your art will ever look the same your entire yeah, career. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Glad you know that. Oh. I mean, I think it just has to have your voice, right? Yeah, definitely. Ooh, who here is a night person too? Not me. I'm an old lady. You see my you see my card again as my shawl? I'm an old lady. <laughs> Go to bed so early. But I hate waking up early too. I'm just a sloth. Ooh, Jason, you can't enter the contest because you're at work. You guys are on the second monitor. I just enjoy watching the process of other creatives. Aw, thanks. Yeah, thanks for watching, Jason. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. Ooh, Rob Zilla says, stay on gradients. Why, Rob? This is an order from the mayor Why? of Philadelphia. <laughs> Wayne says, I go to sleep at like 10 every night. I feel you, Wayne. Partly because I have to get up really early to do this stream, but also because I'm a baby. I mean, honestly, sleeping early is good for you. Yeah. And my mom tells me this every day. <laughs> have you eaten? She's like, go to sleep. <laughs> go to sleep early. I'm like, ugh, fine. And Mom. I don't do it. And then you don't. 
She's like, you can't cover up your face with just makeup. You have to go <laughs> sleep early. You have to glow from within. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> uh, so thanks, Mom. Rob says, it's so you. Great answer. I so guess. You. Is it, though? Mm. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. It was a compliment, I guess. I'll take it as a compliment. I'll take anything <laughs> as a compliment. Yeah, why not? Yeah. It's a great way to live. Even if you don't mean it as a compliment, I'm going to take it as a compliment. <laughs> Oh, Wayne, that's so funny. Breaking news. Sleeping is good for you. Drink water and don't use Visine. The things yes. I'm learning today. <laughs> yeah, so true. I love sleeping, too. Like I have the craziest dreams all the time. Me, too. Every night I have insane dreams. Does that influence your work? Yes, 100%. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. I wanted to draw my dreams more. I just haven't gotten a chance to. Mm -hmm. um, but I love, I love dreaming. It's like my imagination's crazy. Me too. It's nuts. I actually, I feel like I haven't been paying attention to my dreams recently. Like really? I'll just wake up and it's so normal for me to like have weird dreams that I'm just like, eh, that was crazy, but that's normal. Do you like tell it to your boyfriend or mm -mm. sing up another? Mm -mm. No. I, you should. It's just so normal to me. I'm just like, well. Every morning I'm like, guess what? I had this dream about this day. Oh my God. I had this yeah. dream about that thing. It's crazy. <laughs> Every single morning. Every single morning. Yeah. Have you ever done the thing where you wake up in the middle of the night and like write down your dream in your phone? No, like, I should. I've done that before and it's it's just nonsense when I wake up. Really? First of all, it's like not complete sentences. Totally sleep talk. It's kind of really? amazing. Yes. Totally sleep talk? Yeah. Totes. But sleep talk is good. It is. It's a good language. Ooh, Miss X is detail oriented. Am I really? <laughs> <laughs> you are onto the details, the nitty gritty. Uh, it's not a bad I thing. I don't know if I am, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not detail oriented, but you uh, definitely don't forget the details. Yeah, I could definitely be more detail oriented. The one thing is I work off of this tiny laptop mm. with everything. Mm -hmm. So sometimes when I, make, when I make projects that are gonna be printed on giant things, mm -hmm. like giant, quartz or walls I'm like I always print them or I send them off and I'll notice like a line that's gone off and I freak Ooh. out <laughs> but at the same time I'm trying to curb the obsession of perfection so love it that's why I'm not using any like weird tricks I usually use I'm just gonna do things cool yeah somebody just said that they like how you're making copies but then kind of changing them so they're not perfect duplicates thank you yeah. I think it's important to just like not have duplicates. I hate duplicates. Right. I had a teacher in college once that was just like, digital art is great, but make it, you know, make it different, you mm -hmm. know? And I think I've just followed that rule. Yeah. Whoops. But sometimes I'll get lazy, as right. you can tell. <laughs> I think digital art, like, it definitely influences the way the art looks because that's just how the tool works. Yeah. But I think you should still make it the way that you yeah. would. Yeah. Exactly, because it's easy to get lazy and just duplicate things and yes. use like zigzag tool, which I use a lot. <laughs> but um, that's so funny. Christine yesterday was asking Chad, "How do I make a zigzag?" And we learned together. I love zigzag tool zigzag so tool. much, but it's definitely made me a lot lazier in life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I mean, zigzags are hard to make an illustrator by uh, hand, unless you draw them. Yeah, it's true. Ooh, Steve, you are not late. I mean, we're still streaming. We have about an hour left. And you have 25 minutes to get the contest entry in. So get those sent in, guys. Go to the contest tab on be.net slash live. You can read the contest information for Shauna's stream specifically. It's an illustra illustration made in Illustrator CC um, about activities on Utopia. What kind of activities are you going to do on this new planet? So send those over. No, these are not meatballs, but I could make them into meatballs. What? Someone said, underwater cloudy with chance meatballs. Yeah. What an aesthetic. That's a really good idea. <laughs> I love meatballs. Ooh, I'm Helen hungry. wants to know what the zigzag tool is. It's right here under effect. And you go zigzag. Yes. And you have to have something selected, right? So I can make a zigzag for you guys. Give us a zag. I mean, I'm sure there's a, a shortcut. I'm sorry, but. I don't know. And I get to preview it, and you're like, oh my god, it's perfect, perfect zigzag. Love. Yay, mm -hmm. it's perfect. Perfect. And then you can, like, distort it, and you're like, oh my god, it's even better. 
I love the way your brain works. <laughs> Everything is so exciting. <laughs> Everything is very exciting in my in my life. Yes. Oh, what's up, Tim? Welcome back. One of our faithful, faithful moderators. I'm gonna draw a fish. Cool. Zigzag fish? No. No more zigzags. A fish mm. diving into this. I'm really slow today. Oh, I should draw a shark fin instead. Yeah, nice. Space <laughs> shark, space shark. <laughs> How's everyone doing? Glad to have you back, Tim. And thank you guys so much, especially you moderators, for thank being here. Amazing. This looks like a shark fin, right? Yeah. Cool. Totally. And you got to put a little shadow underneath it so you can tell. It's like, ugh, I don't like that. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> ugh. <laughs> Terrible. You know, like a little, little tiny, little tiny guy right here. Dun -dun -dun. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Yeah, zag on him, William. I know what you're talking about. Nice. Oh, man. Do you listen to any podcasts? I don't, but I was taught, I listened to this po Joe Rogan podcast. With really? A, That's a guy so who random. is, I know, actually he has a really good podcast where he invites some really interesting people to talk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's this like mushroom dude who's called Paul Stamets mm -hmm. and he is the perfect, like he studied mushrooms since like the seventies wow. and he owns fungi.com, which I thought was really interesting. Whoa. And he has like government people coming to him and being like, Hey, tell me about the secrets of mushrooms. And I listened to that recently, and I was really fascinated because I love mushrooms. What? I love mushrooms. Wait, so, much. so secrets of mushrooms like health benefits? Health or benefits, like everything. Psychedelic benefits. Both. Both. Okay. Both. <laughs> so he was he he had many stories about how like, well he he kind of prefaced it with saying how like mushrooms or fungi was around like billions of years ago, and mm -hmm. he is saying that it's the reason why there's life in some ways. Well, primordial. Like, <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Yeah. And he was talking about how he had a story where he had, when he was younger, he had um, the stutter, like he just stuttered oh, a lot. Mm -hmm. And one time he like went, took a bunch of shrooms and went on this like trip in, the, on, in a tree or something like that and watched a thunderstorm roll by. Whoa. And the day after he like got over his stuttering. I mean, I'm just butchering this story up, but I really think that- um, Something His happened. name is Paul Stamets. Wow. Yeah, he's so interesting. That's and so on cool. his website, there's like all these recipes for delicious mushrooms mm -hmm. and things like that. Um, and he's talking about how some mushrooms are good for like cancer treatment and like, yeah. it's such a cool podcast. I think they're definitely a power food. Yeah. And we don't know much about it because no. you know, there's so many species of mushrooms mm -hmm. out there. And some of them are like super poisonous and will kill yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. So potent. It's such a, it's like a magic, a magic fruit. Or not fruit. It's a fruit of it's the It's a magic. Word. It's just World. magic, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's not even a fruit. I mean, obviously it's not a fruit, but it's like not even, it's I don't really see fruit. it as anything. A dirt fruit. It's like basically an alien food. <gasps> Utopia. That they shed upon. Yes. You know, <laughs> whatever this, yeah. this thing is called life. <laughs> Especially if you don't eat meat, mushrooms are like Oh, do you not amazing. eat meat? I try not to. And I nice. love mushrooms. Mushrooms are so good. Oh, good. And there's so many ways to cook it and make mm -hmm. it delicious. Which I feel like I should just draw a mushroom now. Yeah, space shroom. <laughs> Adobe is my anti-drug. Awesome, William. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Glad to have ya. Isoto loves Baby Bella mushrooms. Me too. I just love that name too. Baby Bellas. Aww. <laughs> Charles, or Chuck says, fungi has many benefits in health. Yeah, I'm totally gonna, I'm gonna add mushrooms for sure. <laughs> Think about what mushrooms even look like. Oh, Madison look like. said that there's a documentary on Netflix about mushrooms. Seen it? Ah, uh -uh, what is it? I don't know. Let us know, Madison. Do, do, do. Ooh, Mitch is making his poster in all different languages. Amazing. That's cool. What's up, Bakia? Welcome. You guys have 20 whole minutes to get your contest entries in. So make sure you're making those illustrations in Illustrator around the theme of activities on Utopia. What will you do on this crazy new planet? Will you be a mushroom farmer? Yes. Could happen. You got 20 minutes. 
let's do this. So submit those to us on the contest tab on be.net slash live. Let us know how your progress is coming. How are you guys doing? I'd love to see them. And once we get a couple more in, we'll take a peek. Submit. Mm hmm. Get those in. This is like a school project and you have a deadline. I feel like there's too much stuff happening. Too much? <laughs> Not enough. There's so much happening. <laughs> Martin, you're doing better than yesterday for sure. Did you get yours in yesterday? Interesting. Oh, okay, so the documentary is about there's a type of mushroom that is native to a tribe somewhere and they leave it in the sun and it absorbs vitamin D. Wow, really? Crazy. That is crazy. <laughs> Jan Eric, what name are you talking about? What did I miss? Oh, you're vegetarian too? Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not strict about it, but I just how, don't how long have you been vegetarian? Well, like I said, I'm not strict about it. So like I had fish for Thanksgiving, but everything oh, else so was like, vegan. Oh, so like a pescatarian. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. I think it's fine. Whoa. Kendra's actually doing an illustration. Nice. Round of applause. H2B2 loves your work. Thank you. Mm-hmm. All right, Oliver, let me make sure we got your submission. Yep, got it. Hmm. I feel like there's too much happening in this. Okay. Where am I supposed to put the strawberries? Oh, yeah. Drippy. What do I do with this? Oh, you can't even see the shark fin. Okay. Oh, nice. I love that kind of minty color. Cool. Oh, Natasha, you did one yesterday but didn't remember your login to submit it on time? No. Thank you for doing the work anyways. I hope you enjoyed the creative exercise. Oh, you came up with the Temple of Infinite Kittens, Jan Eric, and the Couch of No Regret. I love it. <laughs> the Couch of No Regret. That's yeah. Amazing. What does that mean, Jan Eric? Why are you regretting things <laughs> on a couch? Why are you regretting things on the couch? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the documentary is called The Magic of Mushrooms. On uh, Netflix? Mm hmm Okay, cool. I'm going to watch it. Do it. Oh, man. <laughs> what? I'm just messing so up. So exciting. Cool. Love it. Oh, I mm. see. Oh, I see. Okay, a mushroom here. I'm gonna have a little, oh. I don't know, this cherry is kind of distracting. Yeah, it's pretty big. <sighs> Maybe I should get Whoa. rid of the cherry. That changes everything. Hmm. I don't know, I still like it. It's confusing. <laughs> I'm so conflicted. Maybe I should have a mushroom coming from um, coming, mm, okay, yeah, that's cute. Okay. Oh yeah, there's this guy. I have so many like elements in here that I'm just like, should I use this or should I just get rid of it? <laughs> I don't know, I kind of like how wild it is. It's pretty crazy. Something like this white part, I'm like, do I love that or do I hate it? <laughs> Ooh, I kind of, I love that there's like more than one little white um, element. That's true. So I'm thinking this is like a river and there's a shark in it and it becomes Whoa. a land with the cats. Um, and then have... Oh, I forgot the strawberry. The strawberry needs to come in here somehow. <laughs> Where do the strawberries go? Hmm. Um, Could it be smaller? Yes. <laughs> the 
this like watermelon's crazy too. Pizza melon. Pizza melon. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, falling asleep on the couch. You regret procrastinating watching TV on the couch. Gotcha. So on this couch, there is no regret. I see. I just need to look at this from far away. <laughs> oh, Matthew Smith in the house. All right, if possible, let's get Shauna to put her sweet illustrations into the Utopia CC library so I can use it in my next session. Nice. What does that mean? So we'll take your little assets mm -hmm. and we'll drop them into a library, which means that everybody that is streaming will have access to it and he can use it within his app. Yeah. Matt, when you come in, let's get that figured out. By the way, Matt D. Smith is up next. So we have a little less than an hour left with Shauna. So sad, but you'll see her tomorrow. Not yeah, to worry. I'll end this tomorrow. It'll be over. Somehow. Maybe I'll just change it up completely. Yeah. For example, maybe I should just like completely delete it all. Completely <laughs> delete it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what does it look like if I went to uh, move it upside down? Whoa. Okay, I'm oh, not a fan of that. A little wild. A little wild. But, so we have Matt D. Smith com coming up next, and he is a UX designer. Going to be showing you some mad prototyping skills with Adobe XD. Right, Matt? Um, feel free to let us know in chat what you're going to work on today. So he was working on... What was it? Like the Welcome app? The Utopia app that you have downloaded onto your um, cyborg phone when you come to Utopia? Tell us more about it. I'm excited to see. I kind of like to wait. Yeah, me too. <laughs> and then after that, we've got Evan Abrams making some amazing motion graphics. And if you guys weren't here during his stream yesterday... It's a blast. It feels like you're like in an art classroom with Bob Ross using oh my After gosh, Effects. That's awesome. Like what what a mashup. So stick around for that. And then finally, we've got Christine Heron doing some amazing graphic design. I think she's gonna be designing like the postal system for uh, Utopia. Yesterday she did stamps for all the different cities or all the different locations. And then today maybe we'll be making uh, envelopes or passports. Who knows? Okay. Hello from Egypt. What's up, Hassan? Hello from San Francisco. Okay, cute. I love this kitty. Very kawaii. Yeah, I like that too. Now there's a little more <laughs> contrast too. Do, 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 do. You want to take a peek at a couple? Sure. You can pick maybe your like top two while from I this side. Why decide? Yes. Okay. Alrighty, Ooh, we have this. Skateboarding, our right. space. I know. That's cool. So cool. I'm not sure that it was made in Illustrator. And make sure you guys are creating with Illustrator CC, but this is very cool. Space skater. Ooh, zero gravity. Mm -hmm. So they're swimming. That's really pretty. Mm -hmm. I love this. Yeah. How did you make that? Who, who did this? Yeah, tell us. Who did tell this? Tell us how you made the... Uh, <laughs> The road. Mm-hmm. Cool. Very stately. Nice. Is that the Temple of Infinite Kittens? <laughs> oh, this reminds me of Washington, D.C. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, I see a butt. Nice. <laughs> nice, Madison. You're pandering to your audience. <laughs> cool. This is by Laura. Nice. Life music jams. Oh. Mm-hmm. This is a nice little concert. Space guitar. I wonder if that actually has 88 keys. Looks like it. Space tennis! Ooh! That's kind of neat. Yeah! I like the perspective. Very cool. Nice. Do you have a favorite? Um, I think that one. Yeah, That cool. one's interesting. We'll keep this one open and hopefully somebody will let us know. Who doesn't like a butt? Agreed. <laughs> The Daleks chasing me. Doctor Who jokes. Oh, the blend tool. Okay. The oh yeah. Blend tool. That makes sense. How to use a blend tool? So it's I forget what the shortcut is, but it's like if you have a circle that's red and a circle that's blue, you can oh, blend them together into like a straight all line. All these secrets. Yeah. 
cool. We can pop back to Shauna's screen. Awesome. Thank you. I'm trying to think like what I can even do tomorrow. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so that submission was by uh, Coltsy. I don't remember seeing you in chat, Coltsy. Where you at? Hello. Maybe that name is different from the name that you have in chat. Are you a secret spy? <laughs> chat spy? Object blend make. Mm, cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Is that U plus designs? Yes, 10 minutes. You got 10 minutes to get your submissions in. We just showed the first batch, so get them in by 1030. And we'll look at the new ones. And Shauna will pick her favorite. And that person will win a free year of Creative Cloud. Okay, Adolfo, that's you. Great work. I like how jacked that swimmer is, too. She's strong. <laughs> Um, um, <laughs> um, oh, Colin, you're looking forward to seeing Matt D. Smith live? Totally. <laughs> Matt is up next, and then we got Evan and Christine to finish out the day, and then tomorrow we're doing it all again. All over again. Again and again. Interesting. It's a nice composition. Thanks. Mm -hmm. I just, maybe I shouldn't try to stick a, a strawberry in here. Yeah, like if it doesn't fit, it doesn't fit. But I just love the strawberry so much. I know, it's cute. Maybe this can be like a second illustration. Yeah, tomorrow. Or just all by itself. Maybe Matt will find a way to use it in his app. <laughs> there you go. Mm -hmm. Put it all on Matt. Matt, do the work, please. Siatan is wondering how to go about starting digital art and illustrator. Um, how how does he, how do you um, draw in the first place? I think that True. that comes from mm -hmm. your natural abilities and how to further that into illustration. Yeah, you definitely need to just have the technical skill of mm -hmm. making art first. But I mean, when I first started with Illustrator, I. I drew a lot on paper, scanned it, and I just like messed around with all the tools. Mm -hmm. um, did a lot of like, like tracing and like pulling the vector points and things like that. But it took some time for me to like refine. Yeah. What that is. Yeah, time is a, a big component of it. Exactly. It just takes time to know what you want to do. Mm -hmm. And there's so many tools, so many options. Seriously. And you kind of feel like you have to use them all at first, like overwhelmed. Yeah. It you is don't. very overwhelming. Mm -hmm. For sure. This looks like a mountain. I'm going to make this into a mountain. It does. Candy Mountain? There's another place in Utopia called Candy Mountain. What's you up, know Paul? Got Paul Tranny in the house. <clears throat> Morgan says, this is amazing. Love how the illustration has evolved. Thank you. Totes. It's always evolving. Got many thumbs up in the studio. Thumbs up in chat? Give yourself a thumbs up. Sometimes you just need that. Good job, you. You're doing good today. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, Kendra. Yes, we have your submission. Don't you worry. Wayne wants to know, what are your some of your inspirations for work? I know you were talking about music yesterday. What kind of inspirations? Like Ooh. other illustrators or? Whatever that means to you. Mushrooms are inspiring. <laughs> I'm inspired by, um, I think I'm inspired by, like I said, like movies, anything that's like really visually stimulating mm. is interesting to me. And I think about how do I translate that into illustration? So either that's like, a, even if that's like walking down the street and you see this like cast of sunlight on on a rock or mm -hmm. something like that. We're on mm -hmm. a side street. I think, oh, how do I capture that into an art form? But movies, definitely. Mm -hmm. um, Specific kinds? Horror. Yeah, like older <laughs> movies. I don't know. I really like, uh, I'm trying to think. One of my favorite movies when I was younger is this Japanese movie called Survive Style 5 Plus, which what? is really crazy. It's an anime? 
No, it's not anime. It's it like this. Like an anime it's name. like a. It's a really interesting movie. It's like five stories into one. Mm -hmm. And it was. I watched it in high school, and I was like, I need to get into design or whatever because wow. it's just very visually stimulating. Um, and it's just kind of kooky, and yeah. I love that movie. And that movie still like resonates with me till this day. Nice. And what else? I mean, just things. I feel like there's so much everywhere you can yeah. draw inspiration from. Yeah, life is just inspiring. It is. Mm -hmm. I'm inspired by nature. That's why I draw a lot of nature stuff in my yeah. work. Hope you get inspired tonight when you go to the Redwoods. Exactly. Or not tonight. Just to, today. Like, right, like in 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah, and it's not even the afternoon yet. What's going on? <laughs> oh. Ooh, Kate Gibbon, that's awesome. You don't use Behance since you're in school, but you found Live on Accident. How did you find us then? Did you just stumble back to Behance? Very cool. It's your new favorite thing. Bless your heart. It's amazing. Aww. Shauna, anyways, you two are looking good today. Thanks. I appreciate like it. Shirt. <laughs> did you? Did everybody talk about your shirt yet? My shirt? Uh, How it's kind of coma creed out? Wait, I don't think anyone can see the back of my shirt. It's a giant Actually, look what, look what's happening. Just, it's, it has a little bit of green, do, do, so do, you're semi-transparent. Do, 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 do. Can you see? <laughs> well, when she walked in, she was 100% transparent. Oh, I know, I was like, keep this, please. Yeah. I like to be, I want to be transparent. Chris did a little <laughs> bit of wizardry to get her only 50% opacity. Yeah. <laughs> Is that Paula here? Potentially. Are you up next? Yeah. Cool. Just wait, William. You'll see him soon. I feel like there's so much happening in this drawing. There is. Oh. <laughs> but someone was saying, I think it was Natasha, that she appreciates like the randomness of your work and that she <laughs> struggles with that. Hmm. I think it's also, you know, once sometimes you, people take things really seriously and yeah, you, you like on. let it go a little bit. <laughs> just be like, you know what? I like drawing because it's just fun and I can be a crazy person because no one cares. True. I think that's when you can get a little random. Heck yeah. That's how I feel right now. <laughs> Good. That's what people really strive for. Like that's hard to learn. To it's be hard. crazy? Yeah. <laughs> you can't learn to be crazy. It just happens. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> Maybe just, I feel like a lot of kid movies and kids books and stuff like that is really awesome. Yeah. I love children's storybooks and all that stuff. Agreed. I think that's really inspiring. Totally agreed. Ooh, Yasha, Utopia is a planet. It's your planet. So this whole week, the theme is Utopia, this new undiscovered planet that we're going to be traveling to. And today is activities on Utopia. So what can you do on this amazing new planet? You have two minutes to get your contest submissions in. Um, it's an illustration made with Illustrator that just depicts activities. So are you are you a cat shepherd? Are you a cheese farmer? Like, what do you what do you do in Utopia? Who knows? Send it on in at be.net slash live. Click on the contest tab and get those submissions in because you got 10 minutes. I mean, two minutes. <laughs> Whoa, two minutes. <laughs> two Holy whole shit. minutes. And then Shana will pick a winner. And that winner yeah, will, I will win a free year of Creative Cloud. A free year of Creative Cloud. Yes. Yeah, Noel, we got yours. No worries. Yeah, okay, Yashai. I saw yours. I still like the strawberry. <laughs> Whoa, big boy. Guys, I'm done. It's over. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I feel like I love him so much. I love you, strawberry. You're so cute. I love you, but you have to go. I don't know what to do with you. Make him into a pin. Bloody strawberry. <sighs> So frustrating. Um, I'm not a fan of this gradient situation. There you go. All right, guys, you're coming real close to the end of the submission time. Get those submissions in. Uh, how are you guys doing? Do you feel like you have enough time? Let us know. I know it is a very Next short cherry. project. Oh yeah, they could fit together. Uh, maybe I should. Hmm. Maybe he can go. Maybe he's flying in space. Okay, there you go. Yes, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much going on here. 
Oh, no. Yeah, totally Noelle. Shout out to the tech team over at Adobe. Got an awesome team for Adobe Live. They are wizards and witches. They are masters of their domain. Nice. Oh, Spooky. I'm not sure if I even like these clouds. No, I don't like these clouds. They're terrible. I don't think they're terrible. They're terrible! <laughs> There's just, okay. Mm. Okay, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna make this into a waterfall then. No, this is kind of cool. Wayne says you're really great at balancing out the composition of these pieces. Thanks. There's a lot going on. There's so much happening though, I'm like having trouble looking at it. <laughs> Yashai says, yeah, they're terrible. Yeah, they're pretty <laughs> shitty. Thanks for being real, because yeah. that's important. It's very objective though. I like them. Shout out in chat if you're trying to upload and send the form. Yes. Let us know, because the time is up. Get those Hi, sent Katie. right now. What's up, Space Cat? What's the name of the cat? Morgan oh, wants to know. So I gave it to my friend, so Charlotte. Charlotte version two? Her cat just passed away. Mm. But now she is immortalized. But now she is in space. I'm gonna make a cat have a little tail that's like a little different color. Like that. Very cool. <laughs> Marco says, hey all, amazing stuff, all on different lines. What's up, Marco? Thanks for being here. There you go. Chuck is finishing up. We're gonna check out these submissions in probably the next minute or so. Good luck, guys. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna give the cat little, like, blinky. Blinky beep boops? Blinky beep boops. <laughs> oh no, Behance would let you upload. Did you use all your data watching the stream, Dana? Dang it. So we will look at these submissions very soon. And if you do not win, please do not fret because you have three more chances to win today. It'll just be three other different contests. One with Matt, one with Evan, and one with Christine. So you'll have about an hour and a half for every contest. Uh, every kind of prompt will be different. This one was create an illustration using Illustrator uh, around the theme of activities on Utopia. Who knows what Matt's will be? Stick around to find out. Uh, and if you don't win today, then you have four chances to win tomorrow. It's pretty great. It's pretty great. Mm-hmm. All right, you want to take a peek at some of these? Yes. You guys ready in chat? Get the hype going. We're going to look at your work. Mm. So this is your top pick from the first batch. Mm -hmm. And then we've got this one by Kendra. Aw. Whoa. That's so cute. I love that alien. Hula hooping. Mm-hmm. Nice. Queen of hula hooping. Whoa. Whoa. What is this? Tell me about this one. Yeah. What's Who the did story? this? <laughs> Who did this? What does this mean? Is this the Temple of Infinite Kittens? Do dark secrets lie ahead? This is like a dungeon where people get tortured, like tortured or what? <laughs> do not like cats. <laughs> is this your, your, your utopia? <laughs> Just kidding. This is your favorite life. Living your best life. Nice. Aww. I love that little guy. So cute. Very cute. Hoverboarding in the dunes of Utopia. Ooh, Utopia every day. Aw, this is your Utopia. I love that, Martin. Just making art. Nice gradients on the screen. Cute, cute. Very cool. Whoa. Juan holy Camilo. Holy. There's a lot of skateboarding mm -hmm. happening this today. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. Nice. Very cool, I love the colors, mm -hmm. how they kind of cut out the shadows. Mm. Oh, can we zoom in on this? Drink that water, girl. Oh, I need to drink so much. <laughs> okay, interesting. I want to zoom out. There we go, cool. Is that a spaceship? Yeah, look nice. at this cool vehicle. All right, how are you feeling? What are your thoughts? Let's see. Kind of like that skateboard. Go back to the skateboard. That's this pretty guy? cool. All right, we'll put him next to the original favorite. All right, so these two are your favies, your favy babies. Dun dun dun. 
Whoops. <laughs> okay, that one. Which one? This one. Yay! <laughs> Good job, Adolfo. Congratulations, you have won. Good for job. Year of Creative Cloud, you lucky person, you. You did it. Yes. I know, Morgan, I agree. All the artists that submitted illustrations are so talented. Chat, here's to you. Like, this would be nothing without your your amazing submissions, showing that you um, are creative and you can work quickly. What more could you want? Great job, you guys. Good job, everybody. Mm -hmm. Adolfo, where you at? Congratulations, my friend. <laughs> Yay, nice job. And if you did not win, like I said, not to worry. You got three more chances to win a year of Creative Cloud today and then four more tomorrow. And if you don't win those, that's all right, because you also have the chance of winning three free posters every single stream. Free, free posters every single stream. Mm -hmm. Adolfo's like, wow, this is how it feels to win something. <laughs> Never felt this before. I don't before. know how to. F I've never won anything in my life, so. Never ever, ever ever. No, ever, actually, ever. ever. Hmm. Whatever. It's fine. We'll figure out something that you can. I win. ain't mad about that. Yeah. <laughs> you can't always win. Exactly. It's not what life is like. <laughs> okay. Adolfo, I am so happy. I'm happy for you, my friend. Congratulations. So we have 17 minutes left with Shauna. If you guys have any more questions about her work or inspiration. Why she smells like Burmese food today? <laughs> I'm still wondering. I don't know. Burmese food is so good. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had it specifically. You should go. It's called Burma Love. Here? I just went there get last night, and Ooh. I still smell like Burmese food. Burma Love. It's delicious. Mm. Oop. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're shy. Can I improve my illustration and upload it again tomorrow? So you can submit again tomorrow, but Burmese the, th Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> the theme will be different. So the same illustration won't work, but you can make a new submission. For tomorrow what's that about burmese food sorry <laughs> you started talking about burmese food oh someone said burmese superstar yeah that place is amazing oh yeah the place cool. is great man i need to go <laughs> matthias says she sleeps till 11 a.m where does she work i work for myself so you can wake up anytime you want <laughs> Yay, the life of a freelancer <laughs> i mean honestly i think everything's i mean i think freelance is Probably the future. Yeah. Or maybe not freelance, just, you know, work, making your own hours. Because yeah. everyone has, like, different productivity time. Mm -hmm. You know, some, especially if you're doing a creative job, it's not like you can be creative all the time. Yeah. It's, it's a lot of wasted time. Yeah, you have to, you can't force that. Mm -hmm. And if you force it, it usually doesn't look that great. So, you know, that's my issue. Ooh, look at those outlines. Nice. And so somebody asked what uh, Adolfo's activity was, and it looks like it's zero gravity swimming. Very cool. Uh, Macaios is wondering what your gear is. What do you use to make art? What do you mean by gear? Like digital gear or what? Yeah. What do you use? What kind of computer? What kind of program? Um, I literally just use this MacBook that's 13 inch, and that's it. <laughs> There you go, and then just. I'm about efficiency and simplicity, and being very minimal, minimal about things. Mm -hmm. So, I go. think yeah, I probably should get a monitor, honestly. But um, my favorite tool is probably the, the vector tool, pen the pen tool. tool I mean, mm -hmm. see, I don't even know the name of it. <laughs> the thing I use. So, <laughs> that's the tool. Whatever I use. I have not used any of these new things at all. <laughs> yeah, we Talk should. Talk about that later. <laughs> the puppet warp, what? And the what, what? It's like a little pin, so you can add pins to the tail and then manipulate the tail. Yeah. Ooh. Make it wiggly. Or the curvature tool. Wait, what? I don't know if you have the... This has the artboard tool. I have it updated. Where is it? <laughs> Adobe Live team almost just fell to A his death. Like, <laughs> okay, one day I'll figure it out. Yeah, Next time. Really, really <laughs> <laughs> um. 
Uh, we've had zero days since anyone's been injured in the Adobe Live Studio. That's Darn. good. <laughs> I feel like this guy should go in front of this. Yes. Yeah, Dana, we got your submission, so we can actually take a peek at it. I don't want to um, forget that you submitted. So Ooh, mushrooms. Yeah, all right, you're speaking the language. What kind of mushrooms are those? Mm, tell us. Very nice. I love the fractal. Are they mountains? Is it shrubbery? I don't know, but it's cool. This makes me really hungry. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> Time for lunch. I'm really hungry, you guys. <laughs> Great job, Dana. Thank you for submitting. Thank I'm you sorry so that, much. Um, your submission wasn't working on time. That's a bummer. But thanks for being here, too. Our faithful, faithful Dana. They're utopian mushrooms. They look so delicious. Mm hmm. Okay. Yay. So, do you have lunch plans? Adobe Cafe, more Burmese food. I don't know. Where should I go? Chat, where should she go? <laughs> Tell us. I don't know any place in San Francisco. I'm a noob. Oh, really? When did you move here? Well, I live not in the actual city, so I'm not here so much. That's true. Mm hmm. Oh. I'm just migrating things. Hmm. What do they serve at the Adobe Cafe? All kinds of things. It changes every day. Yesterday I had tostadas. It's pretty good. Do you eat here? Mm-hmm. Nice. I like it a lot. At the um, headquarters in San Jose, they serve the Impossible Burger for super cheap. It's What's delicious. What's the Impossible Burger? Oh, it's so good. It's like a like a veggie burger, a meatless burger that tastes Ooh. very hamburger-like. That sounds good. Is mm -hmm. it made of... What is it made of? Soy and other things. Mm. Apparently there, there's like hemoglobin in it, like some sort. I don't know. It tastes very fatty and delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin says this illustration style is so much fun. Thanks. I agree. I make it fun for y'all. <laughs> very entertaining. Whoa, Mitch, it's negative 28 degrees Celsius where you live regularly? That's terrible. Wowza. I never want to go there ever. <laughs> Wait, Mitch, aren't you in the US? Shouldn't that be in Fahrenheit, my friend? But either way, that's a very cold. <clears throat> uh, Joseph says, Impossible Burger is so good, but the Beyond Burger is much closer to real beef taste. I'll have to try that. Oh, I hear my stomach. I just heard it too. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. Okay, I think he's gonna be diving. Yeah. Oh cool. <laughs> he's fishing. He's he's fishing for fish in space. Oh, so cute. Mm -hmm. Okay, he's still holding a piece of pie, which I don't really understand. <laughs> yeah, we've kind of forgotten about this guy. I don't like him that much. Maybe the strawberry should replace him. But I like his like shape. He's a nice composition. Oh, <laughs> MC hasn't said anything in chat, but all they said is sushi Rito. That's it. Get a sushi Rito for lunch. Sushi Rito? Yeah. What's that? Sushi burrito. That a sounds intense. Big old sushi roll. <laughs> um. Matthias, nobody understands Fahrenheit. I agree. I totally agree. But that's how I read. Um. Okay. I feel like this cat has to be bigger. Ah, the main attraction. This is like taking way too long. Oh, MC, you recommended Burma Superstar as well. Sorry, I missed it. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> that smells intense is the best sentence I've ever heard. <laughs> did you say that? That smells intense? No. Or did somebody say that in chat that I missed? That smells intense? We got Matt in the house. What's up? Um, I don't know what to do. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> hey, Naser, I'm not sure the answer to your question, but feel free to um, tweet at Adobe Care. It's kind of a live team at Adobe, and their job is to help people who have issues using the apps. So go ahead and tweet at them. 
They are very well informed, and I can say that because I used to work on that team. Okay, wait. No! Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Getting so frustrated with the computer. This is really intense. I feel like this cat is... is He's misbehaving. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about him anymore. Mm. I'm so curious what this looked like um, two hours ago, because I don't know anymore. <laughs> yeah. Somebody says, make sure to save your work. Oh, I never save my work. It's great. Danger. I it's love great. living off on the edge. On the edge. <laughs> I love being yes. a rebel, you know what I mean? Yeah, so yesterday, Matt's computer crashed. Oh, yeah, I heard about that. And he said it had never happened before. It's a new computer. and I think it's, it's just meant to happen. Yeah, he got shy in front of the, the cameras, and the computer just decided to go to sleep for a little bit. Forever. <laughs> I got rid of the thing for now. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay, Jan Eric is asking if we like vector waffles, raster pasta, or pixel schnitzel more. I Probably mean, vector waffles. Depends on what they taste like. <laughs> I guess that's true. Like, I can't tell you mm -hmm. unless you tell me the taste. <laughs> Serve it up. Serve it up and we'll taste it for you. But I just love waffles so much. I kind of want to get rid of these like weird floaty things. What is the point of these? What story do they tell? The age old question. All right, you guys are gonna stick around for the next stream because we have about seven and a half minutes left. Oh my gosh. With Shana. I know. This I illustration. I feel like I haven't done anything. Really? It's come so far. <laughs> Man, you should save this as a new version and then open I up should, your previous. I and That's a good idea. Let's see the changes. Should I bring the cherry back? I'm so curious. I want my cherry back, cherry back, cherry back. Should I bring back this cherry? <laughs> I don't know. Now I'm just moving elements around. Like literally this is half of, this yeah, is right? half of my work every single day. Ooh. It's like moving elements around. Yeah, that's it's a little something called composition. Where's the Maybe litter box? Maybe this cat can be up here instead. Oh, you are making waves. Making changes. I don't know. Whoa, that's crazy, Morgan. Okay, so Morgan says, our teacher used to randomly walk around our class and close people's work with command Q so everyone will learn to save every three seconds. Jeez, but you Savage. know, now there's auto save and it's fine. True, you just gotta make sure that it's toggled on. Sometimes I it's never not. save ever. <laughs> it's pretty hilarious. Yeah, I don't really either. I'm like, and if I lose it, you know what? I'm like, whatever, start over. <laughs> I love it. I'm okay with it. I love it so much. That's true. Let go a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Steve says a ball of yarn would be good. Agreed. I just think there's so much happening in this in this composition. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, I like that kind of overlap. Nice. I feel like this doesn't make any sense anymore. Did it ever make sense? That's so true. Let's be real. I feel like that should be a black. Okay. Do 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 do. So we do have one more submission by Chuck, and I do want to show it so that you make sure that you get the recognition that you deserve. This is Chuck's submission from Youngstown, Ohio. OH. You got to do it at home. You got to go. Nice. Ohio. Oh, so much love and peace. Yeah. I love that. Peace, love, utopia. Great job, Chuck. <laughs> I love the um, use of the color palette, too. It works very well together. Nice work. Kathleen, can't you stay for the next stream? Matthias, I don't think you want that. It's just small small bits and pieces of me is all you need. So I'll be <laughs> back for uh, Christine's stream at three, three to five. But we've got Paul next. Then we've got Jason. It's gonna be amazing. Ohio represent, that's right. Adobe Live team is also representing. Courageous, yes. All right, we've got five minutes left. You guys, get your questions in. I've changed this. <laughs> okay, I'm making, okay. I'm gonna make this. Yeah, okay. All right, okay. All right. Oh, you'll be sleeping when I'm back? Darn it. 
All right, well, Matthias, I'll see you tomorrow then. Maybe I'll pop in during Paul's stream because he likes to pop in during our streams. Give him a taste of his own medicine. Mock says, a very nice composition. I agree, it's coming together. Thanks. Mm -hmm. I feel like he's, at first, it was going to the valley, but now I'm gonna make this into the space where he comes in from. Oh. You see? There's a and story so there's here. like a little line here. So I'm gonna turn this into, around it, there you go. Very nice. Hey Morgan, we'll be streaming until uh, 5 p.m. Pacific. So we're here all day. And then tomorrow from nine to five again. The next week, Tuesday through Thursday, same thing, let's do it over. Hey Simon, welcome. Are you here for Matt's stream? He'll be on in about 10 minutes with Paul and they'll be doing some amazing prototyping and hopefully using some of your assets, Shauna. Okay. You guys testing your wingspans out there? Um, <laughs> little body mindfulness, it's <laughs> important. Okay, that's the edge. Hey design crowd, welcome, just in time for Matt's stream. Naser, you can submit a design, but we will not look at it for this stream, unfortunately. We've got Matt coming up next, and he'll have a totally different contest, so you'll have an hour and a half to do something uh, UX related. Okay, I like this now. So he's coming from space. See that? Oh, it's so cute. Love. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you're like in love with your own work. I That's know. Great. You don't need it, as you shouldn't. Like, he is now. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, dislodge him from this planet, real dislodge fast. In the him. next, <laughs> in the next. Um, you have two minutes. You can do it. Two minutes. I'm gonna <laughs> do this. When is the next Illustrator contest? So, uh, Karashis, you could work with Illustrator for Christine's stream at from 3 to 5 Pacific time or come back for Shauna's stream tomorrow uh, from 9 to 11. I don't know what the, the theme for the contest will be, so you'll have to come back to find that out. Anna, thanks so much for being here. Yes, hello. How did you find us on Behance? If you're not watching on be.net slash live, come on over. That's where you can chat. You can find out about the schedule and the contest. Shauna's laughing at her I own know, work. No, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it's too early for this. True. Oh, man. Are we going to be doing any European streams as well? Annie, I don't know when the next time they're going to be streaming in Europe is. It's a great point. I'll have to ask. OK. Well, I grouped this so many times. Nice. There you go. All right. Okay. Let's get this little. I think this is good done. for today. I don't know. Nice job, Shana. Well, you only have. I'm gonna. I'm gonna save left. this. <laughs> I'm gonna put this guy. Oh my gosh! I hate when I group things and, and it's just everything's just grouped by group by group by I group know. by group. It's very complex. Ah! Cool. Okay. So you have 45 seconds, and we'll take this time to just do a little bit of an outro. You okay. did all of this work today. Oh, yeah. Totes amazing. All this work. Yay. All this awesome work. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for submitting to the contest. Stick around for <laughs> Matt D. Smith's stream next. And if you want to join us again for Shauna, we'll be back tomorrow from 9 we'll to 11. We'll see what happens tomorrow with yeah. this entire thing. It'll be something totally different. It might be different. completely different. I might just delete it. Totally. And cool. if you guys want to stick around, uh, I'm going to hop into chat and chat with you guys. And Matt D. Smith and Paul are up next. So thanks so much, Shauna. Great Bye. job. Bye. Thank you. Bye.